Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to replace the wireless card in this HP Elite book. It's a 8570P business class uh, notebook. I'm having problems with it dropping the wireless connection randomly. It may stay connected for an hour and a half and then drop the wireless connection a couple times. I've updated drivers, been on tech support a couple of times. So they were kind enough to actually send me a, a wireless adapter for me to replace myself and not have to send it in. The machine is still under warranty. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, power the machine down using the shutdown feature. Then you want to flip it over and remove the battery because you don't want power to the machine while you're removing parts. Well, one good thing about this computer that the bottom won't release as long as the battery's in. So that's maybe a safety feature. So you slide this to the right and you expose your fluorescent tab there and you pull the battery and slide it out. Next you want to remove the bottom panel of this machine. It's really neat. You slide this other tab to the opposite side and it actually ejects the bottom panel and then it lifts up and out away from the machine where it exposes several components under the computer. Here's the uh, CPU fan is connected to the heat sink. Your processor is normally under your heat sink there. This may be your graphic uh, processor under the heat sink as well. When I look under here, you have two RAM chips. You can replace your RAM there. And here is this network card that I'm going to remove. Now this computer also has a built-on video camera. Here's the CMOS battery. You can unplug and replace it easily once the machine gets maybe 10 years old. Uh, those CMOS batteries are supposed to last that long. Now, a sign that your CMOS battery is bad is the fact that you log off, a compute, off the computer, you shut the computer down, and when you restart the computer, uh, maybe your clock is wrong, or you have problems with uh, uh, your desktop being changed back to some standard setting or something like that. That's normally an indication that your CMOS battery has gone bad. I'm not sure what this thing is here, but you really don't want to be touching things in here because your body may have static electricity that uh, you don't want to discharge on anything. Of course, that's your hard drive there. You have a screw to unscrew it and then unplug it and remove it. Also, your uh, CD drive has one screw here and you could pull that screw and then slide the CD drive out of the uh, base of the computer. Now, some of these computers may have additional components. As you see, there's a couple of wires here that's not connected to anything, but these two wires that connect to this uh, wireless network card, they are a part of the antenna system, and the antenna for the wireless card usually runs through the monitor. So if you take the monitor apart, you'll see those uh, antennas. Anyway, I'm going to remove the wireless card, so I'm going to move these wires out of the way here, and this thing also has Bluetooth, so that may be the Bluetooth chip there. I'm not 100% sure. So let me go ahead and I'm going to unplug these two wires from the wireless card. If that, I can't get them with my finger here real quick, I'm going to go ahead and pop them loose with a screwdriver. Just prime them up, then take those two screws out of it, and that card will, uh, will pop up and then unplug it and plug the replacement one in. Now when you handle these items you don't want to um, finger them too much 
if you have some rubber gloves, that would be great to use. And like I said, you want to dissipate the electricity in your body uh, with the computer. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to touch a metal post or something like that to make sure that the electricity in your body is stabilized with the electricity in the machine. You want to do the same thing with any tools that you're going to use. You want to uh, discharge them on your equipment and try to pop these up. If you could pop them up with your fingertips or the fingernail, that's great, like I just did there. If not, you have to pry them up with a screwdriver. Now that those two uh, wire leads are off, I'm going to use my other screwdriver to remove the two Phillips head screws that I see there. So let me pull those screws and then start the video again. When I pulled the two screws out, the car just kind of popped up in the air. So I'm going to wiggle it out like that. And then I'm going to take the new one out of its static proof uh, packaging. I'm going to put the old one in there, take the new one, plug it in, screw it down, and then plug the antennas on. You don't want to mix those wires up. One is labeled one and two. Normally when you take the wires loose, they'll stay in the same position that they go back down in. So let me go ahead and connect that the new one on and show you how to close up the machine. Okay, I have the card plugged in. I have the connectors connected. I laid those other additional wires down. And now I'm going to close up the machine because I don't need to be in here messing with anything else. So I hook the, the leads in on the bottom with the slid a little bit out here, making sure that the machine is flat. And I'm going to use both hands and I'm going to slide it to lock it in place. And then I'm going to lock the lever over there to cover up the fluorescent paint. Okay, as you can see, the body of the machine is nice and flush. None of the corners or edges are sticking up. And I got the latch latched. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the battery. And slide it in place. Lock it in. And then lock the battery in place so the bottom's locked on the battery's locked on now I'm gonna go ahead and fire the machine up and make sure everything works as it's supposed to uh, like I said this machine was losing its internet connectivity randomly so if you have that kind of issue you may have a bad wireless card and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in and probably play an online game for a couple of hours just to make sure that it doesn't drop its connection. A couple times I actually seen it drop a connection as I tried to reply to YouTube uh, comments. It would not let me hit the post reply. That's how I knew it lost connectivity. So the computer detected that it had a different device and it says it's installing the software for it which I, I would have thought it would have been the same software so let's see what happens here but down here was my internet connection and occasionally it would show that I was connected to the network but I was not connected to the internet so as you can see it's trying to connect there and it says that the driver installed successfully, but it's not connecting to my network. So I guess I'm going to have to do that manually. Okay, and as you can see here, it is connected to the internet. And occasionally, a yellow triangle would appear stating that it's still connected to the network, but not to the internet. So I'll see how that runs over the next day or two and post comments in the remarks section if it quit working again. 
If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.